As Islam gains traction and more people enter the religion, we are super thrilled to feature on our channel today the story of the conversion of Robert Bauer. German footballer Robert Bauer, who currently plays for the Saudi club Altai in the Saud Pro League, announced his conversion on his Instagram account. It all started with a story he shared that had a verse from the Quran. The verse roughly translate to guide us to the straight path. He then shared a story in which he claims that he's a follower of Islam. Robert Bauer has come out with his conversion story after multiple questions. He was born in Germany to Kazakh Christian parents and was raised as a Christian. He has represented different clubs in Germany and Belgium and has represented Germany at the FIFA U-20 World Cup in New Zealand in 2015 and was part of the squad for the 2016 Summer Olympics, which saw Germany clinch the silver medal. Robert Bauer took to his Instagram account and posted a picture of him playing alongside his baby son and father-in-law and revealed that he came to Islam through his wife and her family. Bauer wrote, for all the people messaging me today, I came to Islam through my wife and her family. It's been many years, and I'm thankful for you all to help me and encourage me on my journey. It seems confusing to us, to say the least, that Robert Bauer mentions he came to Islam through his wife and family. On further information emerging, Bauer mentions his wife is a born Muslim, born in Tanzania, to Turkish-Iranian mother and Tanzanian father. She has lived a major part of her life in Dubai, where most of her family resides. And Robert Bauer had met his wife many years ago in Dubai and married her. A bombshell of a revelation came in the form that Bauer says he had taken the Shahada at the point of marriage, but hadn't really understood the religion nor practiced it, but had been exposed to the practices and rules and regulations of the religion of Islam because of his wife and family. Now many would ask, why take shahada if you don't understand? In Islam, a marriage is valid only between two Muslims and taking the shahada is mandatory. Another interesting point to note is lead by example, where actions speak louder than words. What do you think the correlation is between these two statements and Bauer's conversion? The practices and the example set by his wife and family had impacted him so profoundly that over the years he has learned more and grown more attached to Islam. The cherry on top of the cake, so to say, is Bauer's move to Saudi Arabia to play football. He reveals the people of Saudi have exuded warmth and hospitality and grace on him, and that has been the final push to make him more aware of Islam. Bauer had decided that now he's completely ready and understands Islam and had thought of taking the Shahada again, learning to recite the Quran and practicing Islam completely. A beautiful story that will impact and motivate every one of us, maybe born Muslims or not, that when guidance comes and our hearts are ready to accept the truth, it all falls in place beautifully. As we mentioned earlier in our video, the impact of those around us matters more than what we ever imagine. He married a Muslim. Her actions and practices and that of her family gently nudged Bauer in the right direction. The move to Saudi Arabia, the birthplace of Islam, drove him further to Islam. Saudi Arabia is known for its generous and warm hospitality. This practice is deeply ingrained in their culture and stems from a genuine desire to make guests feel comfortable. Hospitality in Saudi Arabia is commonly called diafa and encompasses several aspects. These include a warm welcome for guests, whether they are strangers or friends, offering and pouring coffee in a particular style, serving plentiful meals and more. For guests who are staying over, Saudi hosts strive to ensure their comfort and well-being by providing suitable living conditions and make them feel well cared for. The key to the success of Saudi hospitality lies in their culture. In fact, they claim 
they have an advantage compared to the rest of the world because they have hospitality in their DNA. In such an environment, it's not difficult to understand why a person who has anyway been exposed to Islamic practices to turn to it completely. After all, human nature makes us all want to feel welcomed and loved and accepted. Bauer is extremely grateful and thankful to everyone around him. In his words, I came to Islam through my wife and her family. It's been many years and I'm thankful for you all to help me and encourage me on my journey. Do subscribe for more inspiring stories. It's free.